Welcome back all to the lucky die. Previously, Balance got knocked down. Raoul started seeing things as Zoltana dropped back into the world. Now that Zoltana has passed the preliminary trials administered by Clemdown, she now knows the enormity of her task to become a goddess or face the burning of her soul. Upon the physical plane once again, the team still needs to defeat the North Winds. Is the rat version of Balance going to be okay? Will Zoltana tell her friends about her choice of sacrifice? And what on Bikron is happening to Raoul? I guess we're about to find out. Welcome back to the Lucky Die. Zoltana has just been flung backwards out through the portal. Her back is landed hard, um, hard into the cold snow. And what she sees before her, on the other side of the altar, the portal is now gone, she sees a dragonborn that is bleeding profusely from the nose. His, uh, his scales are beginning to dissolve through. She can see this. Um, bright yellow, of course. She can see the guide that came with you on the ground next to Raoul trying to scrabble around with a bow and a basic weapon and she sees the north wind standing up on top of the altar looking fairly beaten to hell that's what you guys see what balance sees is a somewhat more microscopic view squeak what do y'all want to do are we still in initiative Whose turn is it? This still, th- this thing still <laughs> looks like it wants to kick your ass. Um, you have what? just been thrown backwards through a portal, and you land in the ice. Yeah, it's actually your go. Kill it. Epic. Kill it with fire. Kill it. Stop. Yeah, whispering. you literally Kill fell it. back through. <laughs> you fell back through for exactly and your initiative counter is exactly after the winds of the north did the thing that he did and now it's your go so what do you want to do i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna lunge and attack okay um so you move half the move to stand up (laughs) and you want to go for the attack is uh for ral Oh no, Raoul is still in mid hallucination. So Raoul basically just sees this orb of fire land next to um, next to the altar. Um, yeah, that's that's what that's what Raoul is saying right now. Um, okay, if you're going to attack him, tell me what you're doing. I'm going to rush and rush and attack, and uh, I'm going to do that. All right. Are you doing any your of your things? Huh? Are you doing any of your things? <laughs> yes, obviously. I'm going to <laughs> thank you, thank you, Arch. Yeah. Every oh, single in the every single time I forget. I'm you guys, I'm really good at D and D. Um <laughs> Obviously I'm going to do my uh what is it called? I don't know, okay, see it's on me. It's, it's on gone! Your, Where is it? It's on you your can, sheet. For those you can for those who cannot see you can what I just wrote into a little tiny chat. I, I'll, I'll do my wrath, but I'm just really mad because I was gonna. I wanted to do Hunter's Mark, but I forgot it's fucking gone because now I'm not in that. You are no thing. longer vengeance. You are now something different. Now I'm not. I'm now in bloody vengeance. So now you are bloody vengeance. Okay. Um. So you go for the attack. Are you divine wrath? So what is uh, let's do Dharma and Wrath then. Your rage against your enemies goes deeper than any mere mortal, including yourself. You can tap into your anger that is pure 
and it turns basically as a bonus action you get to rage i'm raging you are raging what does it what does it like do you shout anything do you yell anything but bear in mind this is the first time you're back on the physical plane as a potential godlike. <laughs> oh no no keep in mind people this matters <laughs> No, no. People are gonna when think books are either written highly or lowly about, of you of this. Listen, I, I don't think any of our I don't think anyone could think any lower of me than they're going to after the last episode, so uh oh, <laughs> no, no. Um anyway. No, uh I'm gonna <laughs> pause for laughter. <laughs> Alright. So you are raging. So Zoltana is just going to like get this really angry look on her face, like fire behind her eyes. And she's going to do that thing where like she points at her eyes with two fingers and then points at him with the same two fingers. Mm -hmm. And then she's just going to charge. Okay. All right. So uh, your attacks were 22 is the first one. Let's see if that hits. Yep, that hits. 17 damage. All right. So that was uh, 14, like, normal slashy type damage, plus three divine wrath damage. Um, With that, he falls to the ground unconscious. I'm going to do an extra quick stab into him and then, like, stand into the wind with, like, my very short hair and beard blowing behind me. (laughs) And no one here to see it. Shame. You. <laughs> you do I, do he, I poof? As he, yes. As um. <laughs> yeah. Balance as, Connor, as you, as you stab into, uh, as you stab into him with all of your rage, your rage emanating from you like a holy being of vengeance. Um, he falls to the. He falls on top of the altar, unconscious, and you see balance, kind of just like. Almost like you've you've zoomed in way too hard on a camera, like that kind of like bam 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 zoom on something that's way too much. This has just happened to balance. This is balance just kind of pops out of the air. Um, yes, uh, the creature is laying on the altar, unconscious. Next would be balance. Great, balance is gonna pick himself up, pick himself up off the ground. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Uh, and he's going to look around. <laughs> you can feel the rage coming off of Zoltana in waves. Um, Balance is going to look at the body and... Uh, uh, you you would probably know that even like... It's, uh, because you've been fighting this for a little while now, you would know that even like a touch of fire would just end this. Yeah. I have those. Just want to make sure I do one that's not going to fucking hit everybody else. You're going to fireball me. No, I, I'm this. I'm very I specifically like this, trying to make sure I don't. I feel like the silence is just. <laughs> I could. I let me let me lay it out there. I could. How am I going to tell him? <laughs> How do I tell Raul that he's probably dead? How do I tell? Well, no, you don't have to worry about the specter will deal with it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he's promoted being being promoted to do with his. Oh wait a minute! I'm next to the altar, anyways, right? Yes, yeah, you were literally right next to it because you had to be touching it to hold the portal open. Can I just pull out one of my alcohol bottles and then just dump that shit on it and fucking strike it with uh, with the tinder box? Absolutely you can. As long as you strike one of those alcohol bottles off of your list, you 100% can do that. I will do that. I take out one of the alcohol bottles from uh, Jen's, right? Yep. Yeah. And I just dumped, uh, bounce, dumps that shit all over it and then quickly takes out the tinder box and just... Tsh- yes. Uh-huh. Um, how close is this to me? Right next to you? Uh, it's super close to you, and I was about okay. to describe this nightmare vision from Rao's POV. Are you still that, uh, what were you, like, blue or silver dragon? Um, let's say what we hit you? refresh on what this vision turns across into. Um, what you see is you basically see a meteorite landing next to the altar. <laughs> you see Amos struggling on, um, Amo on the altar up. itself as this, as this, as Didn't this, she uh, explode yes, well, she did, I don't, I don't if she exploded, And then like yes. fragments of but, bones and stuff, and now she's not here. <laughs> 
However, when you look back down at the altar, she's there okay. again. She's continuing to struggle because hallucinations, yeah. Um, and she's struggling underneath. You see this meteor just kind of like plunge into the ground and pop back up through the altar as it smashes into the uh, the horrible dragonborn thing that have been tormenting you for so long. Um, and you see a kind of like silvery looking humanoid creature um, reaching out and basically holding the meteor against the uh, the kind of dragonborn looking thing. Um, Sultana and Balance, you can see that Ral's eyes are exceptionally unfocused right now and he is bleeding from the mouth and he's beginning to bleed from one ear. One ear hole, I guess. Uh, you are officially out of combat as you hear the shrieks and the cries of the winds of the north as the kind of like the flames engulf it and turn it into ash. You see the ash being picked up by the wind and swirling upwards. And then the storm that had been coming in, the dark clouds begin very slowly just to move away. The wind is a lot less and yes, you're still on the top of a mountain and it's very difficult to breathe and it's still effing cold, but it's not as bad as it once was. Oh, we did. What do you guys want to do? Is the... Uh... Roll? Yeah. You hear Balance them both like as if it's a like a very far away echo. I was gonna um, s- yeah, he, it's going to be non-responsive. Um, he seems to be yelling at one of you. <laughs> or both, uh, or something else entirely, maybe, uh, the way he's looking around at things. Uh, but you would recognize it as draconic. So I know bits and pieces. I can ask how to, where's the bathroom in draconic? <laughs> well, you can badly ask where the bathroom is in draconic. <laughs> I can say where, where, where bathroom. Where bathroom? Bathroom where? <laughs> bathroom where? Is bathroom. <laughs> There, there, bathroom. Where room there, of bath? castle. <laughs> That's the one, where room of toilet hole. Yeah. Um, Balance walks into a bar. This is a bathroom. <laughs> Immediately gets killed. <laughs> no balance. No. <laughs> no, no balance. Bad you balance. insulted their bar. <laughs> you insulted their bar. Stop it, I'm going to uh, die. Yes, let's, <laughs> let's just say that you don't really understand. Like... You may have a comprehension of some of the basics, but what he's yelling, it's it's not good. Okay. Um, Zoltana, um, Zoltana, you're good. Can you? Um, yeah. Do you, are you are your things back? Can you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna walk over to. Yeah, uh, he does Ralph. raise a hand at you. As it does look like a, a meteorite is coming towards you in well, like small being... dwarven form with a smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's raising hey, you a put fist. this condition on me, okay? <laughs> does it look hostile? Do like, does he look like he's about to yes. suck Zoltana in the face? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Anything that gets Zolt- close to him. Zoltana, hold on a second. Zoltana, hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let, let me distract and then you get... Uh, I think he's going to try to hurt you. <laughs> he can try. <laughs> I'd rather that we don't. Yeah, you'd probably win, and we just went through a fight, jerk. <laughs> Come out of the portal, like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> yeah, you can fucking try. <laughs> well, Zoltana, Zoltana also. I'm looks- almost dead. Yeah, I can fucking try. <laughs> Zoltana, Zoltana also <laughs> looks really bad. Like she might also be close to death because <laughs> everyone is close to dying here. <laughs> Balance has two holes in him, so. I'm gonna fucking listen. We all look oh, pretty I... fucked up. Um, Everyone looks real rough. Balance is going to like slowly approach Rawl and try to draw his attention, so that Zoltana can go for go in for like a quick slap of healing. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna slap him. Give, gonna him, slap give him like a good game into. smack on the ass. Um, so the dragonborn starts moving around. No, uh, so like the kind of tall, like silvery uh, humanoid looking creature that was standing by your side and kind of helping out and the voice of Marnak that echoed in your brain recently, you kind of get the feeling that maybe you can trust that one at least. Um, and yeah, you but can there is easily no be dragonborn distracted by now. There is no dragonborn now. I am it the is. silver surfer. You can trust me. Yes. <laughs> uh... Casey, I, I know, don't... Listen, let's not go down that rabbit hole right now. <laughs> okay. let's, let's, not, let's not play with this, please. <laughs> let's not go down let's that rabbit hole. Stay in this game, please, folks. I'll cut um, it out. I swear to God. 
<laughs> so yeah, you can easily be distracted by or feel the calming influence of like the silvery humanoid looking creature next to you. Um, and yeah, Sultana, you can fairly easily reach out and heal him. Sure, do you wish? I'm gonna smack him upside the head from behind. All right, so for what are you healing him with? Twelve and points how much? of cure wounds. Okay, you've been healed for twelve. I don't. Um, okay, we're not like just, you're not out of hallucination territory. <laughs> yeah, like you weren't actually that far under half. So I'm just going to say that it, if whether it takes one or two sorts of spells to heal you up, they can get you over the half without a problem. Um, as Zoltana lays, uh, um, slaps a couple of cure wounds into you. Um, you sense someone familiar, and as you get closer and closer to being more stabilised, um, you can sense it's Ultana next to you, um, and you can see things normally again. There's no strange visions of death or blood, um, well, apart from the death of, you know, the winds in the north, but that's, <laughs> who cares about that? Um, <laughs> you can see that your friends are bloodied. Um, they're, they're covered in a, a little bit of gore and everyone, you know, looking around between the three of you, you can all see that each of you have gone through the ringer. Um, there is something slightly different about Zoltana. And as you look at her, you can see that only you two can really see this and Braxton. Zoltana wouldn't be aware of this. But you can see like the faintest traces of like a, a golden set of wings behind her. Hmm. Ral is shaking and looking around as if he's just woken up. And he doesn't know where he is. Ral, are you okay? What ha- what happened? Did I f- did I pass out? Uh, that- no, you kind of went mess it up. You went kooky a little bit. Did I mess it up? No, I mean we won. I think. Bounce turns to Zoltana. We won, right? You did the thing. Yeah, yeah, we won. Where then? Okay, great. Bounce like sits on the altar. <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh. <laughs> you you kept you kept it open for a really long time. Yeah, yeah. We we, we kind of ex- thought you were going to just step through when you were done, but um <coughs> Well You were taking a while and things were getting a little hairy. Yeah. I nearly died. I had to fight a Valkyrie. A couple of times. Oh, well, good to see you won. I hope. Yes. I don't know about the rest here, but you see his little hut down there. How about we go down there to recuperate? I kind of can't get us back until tomorrow anyway. And uh, we all look like shit. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, Yeah. So, yeah, so you, you guys like kind of, you can begin like leaving this area, making your way down to the hut, I, I guess. Uh, uh, one of you needs to leave behind Squash's jacket if you yes. wish to, or Balance shirt, will so you make sure that. to like tuck it somewhere, put like some heavy rocks or some shit on it. and Yeah, make sure it's it's solidly there. Secured. Um, so we can see into all of the planes. Yeah, that's still an effect. Uh, you still like kind of like scroll through them a little bit and see bits of this and bits of that. Yeah. I want to look for Ama and Squash. Ama and Squash. Uh huh. <laughs> um. Okay. All right. Sure. Uh. Roll me a roll me a perception check. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nat. Th- <laughs> Damn it. So you attempt really hard to look through the various planes that are kind of like flicking through your vision every now and then, and you try and really focus on on Ama. You try to find Ama's golden scales, and you see her in Bellum. She's surrounded by other honourable dead. You can see them fighting back a horde of various kind of slimy looking demons um, kind of crab looking things with very sharp mandibles you can see her helping to push those back and you can see that she's near a portal a portal that leads to a plane somewhere she kind of looks up kind of catches your eye for the briefest of moments before your vision your focus switches to somewhere else and you're looking at Cicero you're looking at a golden field 
you can see that there is a little house built up on sticks. Um, you can see that there are a couple of halfling children running around and a halfling f- um, mother and father walking away from you. But you don't actually see Squash. But you're fairly certain he's there. Hey, V. Yeah. Question. Sure. Was Ama wielding the Black Knight sword? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? On a nat 20? <laughs> yes, fine. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. <laughs> what did that thing do? That was the aging the aging sword. Oh, I met ages people now. It's the sword of aging. Um uh yes. Let's let's say for hilarity's sake, yes. Um also as a side note, I screwed up when Titus left. Um, because I forgot to say that he saw something happening, uh, but yeah, okay, that's fine. Yes, absolutely. You can you can see Amo wielding the sword. That's fine. So okay. dumb. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, are you guys gonna? So you have left uh, Squash's shirt, shirt. You have peered through to the stalk uh, through the different planes, and you're heading down towards the hut. Yes. Okay. For As... flavor, I think that balance is helping to support Raw because Raw still looks a little beaten the fuck up. It's like the lame leading the lame right now. Everybody is beaten to fuck. We're all um, leaning against. This is like a line everyone, of four. We're yeah. all leaning against each other. I like the idea that uh, uh, that Braxton and Zoltana are helping each other because they're both like <laughs> <laughs> about the same. And Braxton looks pretty like oh, Be- knackered because um, we're Braxton short. Braxton was fucking MVP in that fight. We're just, short. just say Braxton, it. Say short. It's because you both uh, have ancestry with dwarves. Uh, you feel a more natural bond. Yes. You're heightest. <laughs> uh, Rawl is still shaking and kind of looks like someone who has seen something traumatic. Yeah, he's very shaken right now. Um, as Balance and Rawl... As you two pass the stones that mark the edge of this circle around the altar, you both, you know that kind of feeling if you get like a bucket of cold ice water thrown over, you get that kind of like shocking of like, (gasps) that happens to you the moment you two step outside of this circle. And balance. Hi. You don't know how you know it. You don't know why you know it. You just know that you know it and you know how to use it. You have gained... Shield of Faith. Oh. You can cast it twice a day. Oh. Okay. Ral, you don't know how you know it. You don't know why you know it. You just know that you know it and that you can cast it whenever you need it. Twice a day. Cast it twice a day. (laughs) Whenever I need it. You have received divine favor. (gasps) I need to look that up. (laughs) Yes, you do. Oh, is it because they're my disciples? No. 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 <laughs> uh, it should be. <laughs> they entered the big, weird place where magic is at its height and where the barriers between existences is the thinnest. They held open a portal to the sentinel plane, thus they received more divine gifts. And also that's what they rolled on my random chart of stuff they're going to receive. Uh, <laughs> and I just happened to be, they both were divine. Um As Sultana, as you and Braxton are leaving together, you feel Braxton take a sharp intake of breath and he looks at you with kind of like a bit of a bit of like a curious look of like what the hell is going on? And then uh, shrugs his shoulders like, I've had worse. And um, y'all can continue walking down to the hut. Hold on. So now twice a day. So for two minutes a day. I do an extra four D4 radiant damage on all my punches. Assuming you hit. One D4. Yeah. One D4. Yes. An extra one D4. I thought that's what I said. Keep in mind it is a bonus action to activate those. So for (laughs) one turn, you don't be doing two. Yeah. That's crazy. But worth the change. Um, So yeah, you guys have those. Uh, You guys make your way down to the hut. Um, Braxton goes first, being that he doesn't want it to be trapped and anyone to get blown up by the winds of the north. As soon as he opens the door, you can feel a warmth emanating from the house. 
the how the chairs inside the table inside is a little taller than most of you would expect. I mean, the winds of the north was huge, but there is a feast laid out upon the table. There is a fire uh, beginning to die down, but you can see there's like extra wood next to it um, in the fireplace, and there is a note on the mantelpiece. What do you guys want to do? Um, this is peculiar. I'm going to go find a bedroom. Uh, it is a one-room apartment, a one-room hut. I'm going to pass out on the floor. <laughs> there is a bed. No, nope. <laughs> There's no bedroom, but there is a bed. <laughs> I have spoken. Floor. <laughs> okay. And thus the floor was decided. <laughs> Balance wants to check the note. Sultana... So Tana just decides to lay on the floor this time. <laughs> no, um, it's it's less yeah. decides to lay on the floor and more just like collapses in a heap of uh, in life. a heap of Zoltana. Yep. <laughs> heap of Zana if Zoltana is formed. Uh Balance goes to grab that note. What was uh Raul doing? Uh, Raul has uh taken a seat against the wall somewhere. Uh-huh. Uh when we came in and is uh gonna do TO time. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Tana, you find a nice comfy place on the floor. There's a couple of, like, like really thick rugs on the ground, and you find one that's passably comfortable. Um, Braxton takes a seat at the table and just begins to chow down on this feast. Um, balance, you open the note. The note, uh, actually, I guess I should say, the note is addressed to... <sighs> Let's make sure I... My Lady of Bloody Vengeance. Oh. Zoltana, the letter's for you, apparently. Zoltana is knocked out. <laughs> Zoltana okay, chooses just, to be unconscious. <laughs> I'll just read it out loud then. <laughs> um, the note goes on to congratulate the Lady of Bloody Vengeance that this feast is a reward for her and those who helped her. And that the winds of the north uh, held no grudges and were simply doing their job. Um, enjoy the feast and the benefits it will grant you. All right, then. You know, for someone who didn't hold a grudge, I feel like it kind of did. <laughs> Just throwing that out there into the void. I don't even know if anything can hear me right Just now. Just doing his job. He had a whole speech planned for <clears throat> Tana killed him. <laughs> Whole speech plan involving putting holes in people, specifically yeah, me and Raw. Yeah, yeah, that was good times. Um, I had the job too. It's kind of the same. <laughs> Never mind. I'm um, in Tio. I'm out of character. <laughs> so you're actually in Tio. Um, so what are you doing as Tio? Whatever Tio wants. He's not really dictating. Just along for the ride. Yeah. Uh, Tio is kind of like sniffing at the feast and like uh, beginning to like nibble little bits of uh, of um, kind of like the more crackery bread type things. Uh, a little bit of cheese here. Uh, he tries a little bit of meat, decides that's not the one he likes. This and, uh, is probably more enjoyable than Raul actually eating the food himself because Raul's tongue doesn't <laughs> fucking work through the acid and just oh being God, worn down turning... all the time. He's probably like, Raul's wow, food again. Huh? No. <laughs> He's enjoying the food. It has taste and texture and flavor. Yeah. Um, Tio, Tio is enjoying the feast. Um, okay. Balance will start eating as well. All right. Um, balance, as you begin to eat, you begin to feel your wounds um, heal over. Um, something about eating this food just makes you feel warm and happy and safe. Just for a moment. And I would like you to roll 2d12, please. Oh. Is is this like a Thanksgiving feast this is how we're having much, right now? This is how much you die <laughs> on a scale this from 1 much. to 12. I die a total of 6. Okay. Then you gain a permanent 6 increase to your maximum health points. Oh, oh wow. holy shit. Okay. Wake up, Zoltana. No, no, Tio. Zoltana is passed out. I don't want to intrude. Tio, Tio. can you also roll 2d12? <laughs> I love Tio so much. Uh, so nine. So then Tio's maximum HP increases by nine. Wow, job, that's, a, that's a lot for Tio. 
<laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Tio has 10 Macs. So this Annoyingly, up- it means I have to update another sheet I have. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and he took uh, some damage too for the cold Portio. Oh. Uh, okay. Um Yeah, like in, in Tio, you feel a strengthening of your muscles, you feel happy and warm and content, and Tio just like kind of like totters and like uh, trots around the table trying little bits of this and little bits of that and eventually settles for curling up right next to like kind of like on the bit of the table that has the most exposure to the fire to keep warm. Yeah, when Tio goes to lay down, Raw will uh, enter back into himself and go and uh, try to eat some of the feel-good food for himself. It doesn't taste as good as when you're eating it as Tio, but it's still (laughs) fucking good. Um, It's just still a good feast. Um, And I would would like Raul to roll 2d12, please. Okay, that's a lot. Oh no, was it 24? Am I going to cry? No, it's close though. Your maximum HP increases by 19! <laughs> Woo! Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? Neil, um, you are one HP away from double uh, from triple digits. I hate this. I hate this so much. Um, Holy shit. Braxton kind of like goes over and like wafts like some ale under Zoltana's nose and like a warm loaf of bread that's covered in a bit of butter that's melting. He's kind of like wafting it under your nose and hoping that you're going to wake up. I feel like Real Zoltana. Tradition. Yeah, Zoltana's a dwarf. I think that ale is an immediate like, yep, what's up? Kind of a thing. Ale? <laughs> yep. Huh? Uh, Zoltana, you can. Tingling. You can join back into the feasting. Um, <laughs> so that's exactly what Zoltana does. She gets so she goes, eh? and grabs the bread. <laughs> does she not wake up with like, eh? <laughs> no, no. It's, so she can speak as Zoltana. It's not, eh. She's not it's, sleepwalking. She's sleep eating. It's not, <laughs> eh. It's, eh. 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 <laughs> All right. Um, uh, and oh. she's going to, she's going to have some bread. And then since she's up after I guess I'll I do this role, I'm gonna uh yes, please. attempt to summon a new familiar. All right, so let's do your health increase first. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, character maintenance in this in this little bit of a sesh. This um, is gonna be our feast episode. 2D We're 12? long resting. This is the this is the long resting episode. Sultana, how much did your health increase by? Eight. There you go. You feel reinvigorated. Um, now that all of you have feasted and eaten and are all taking part in this, any levels of exhaustion that you had previously are just gone. Woo! Um, due from the cold, any conditions you had, uh, by the fact that Ral is sick. Um, <laughs> Ral, you don't need to roll tomorrow um, because of this feast. Um, oh, cool. So you don't need to do your check tomorrow as to whether you'll wake up with uh, at all. Um, you don't need to do that check. Um, y'all are good. Um, yeah, the the kind of exhaustion of the fight, the trek up here, just seemed to melt away in this nice, warm feasting area. Balance. Hi. You, however, do not sense Marnak. Not in the way that you did before. He's like, there's nothing there anymore, like you're alone. Uh, okay. While I'm meditating, then I'm going to try to go find him. It doesn't take long to communicate with Monarch. You find yourself in that space that you have between you mentally conjured as a your meeting point. You see kind of curled up on the floor, eyes closed. You see the old small gnome that you know as Monarch. Monarch? Are you? You see him, kind of like his eyelids flicker just a little. Balance like sits down in front of him, cross-legged, and just kind of puts a hand on his shoulder. Are you all well? Are you all right? I had to help you. I don't have much strength left. Is Ral okay? He's all right. We're we're safe. We're all all right. Thank you. 
Sultana. Succeeded, it seems. You see him smile a little bit and he closes his eyes again. I don't know if I'll be able to. I have to regain my strength for whatever is coming. I don't know if I'll be able to help you with your aunt. That's all right. I understand, and I appreciate that you did help me. I think I would have died if not. That was my fear. Is there some way I can help you? I don't think so. I just need to rest. I need to rest. Understood. Uh, well, who am I to ever listen? Let me try something. Okay, what are you going to try? Um, all right, so Balance is going to try seeing if he can use that his uh, blood points. Okay. Because um, in his mind, using his own life energy probably has more oomph to it. Um, so he's going to try to, like, pump some of his psionic energy mixed with his life energy into Marnak. See if he can kind of revitalize him a bit. Okay. Uh, I assume you're kind of going along the lines of, like, the equivalency of whatever your Q wounds equivalency or your uh, minor restoration-y thing equivalencies are, right? Yes. The um, the level 7 Huzuma, what's the thing that I have to, what is yeah. it, uh, restore vigor. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say that you see a little colour return back to his face. Um, so he'll be able to come to your aid a little earlier than I had planned. Um, you have helped. Uh, he's just still pretty, pretty drained. That's fair. You, Balance you, you looks a, a little bit uh, gaunt after doing that and takes his hand away and is like, oh, well, that was something. It's not much, but... He looks uh, up at you and smiles and he says, Thank you. You rest. I'm going to try to rest as well. And We have a long road ahead of us. All right, then. So I would like to say it's safe to assume you all have a long rest. Uh, I would say we sleep in. <laughs> You have the longest of rests. <laughs> Eight hours, pff, nah, fam, more like ten. Well, y'all wake up refreshed, invigorated, and level eleven. <gasps> but what about my familiar? You're not very familiar with it. <laughs> but I'm... <laughs> but I'm... So as the sun kind of like begins to come up, Zoltana, you feel awake enough, rested enough have learnt the spell because you have to prepare them as a paladin. Um, you decide to re-summon a steed because, as we all know, Karuna, who was ever the faithful, loyal, always around companion... That we never forgot <laughs> existed ever once. That we never, ever, ever forgot existed. Um, Is one of your virtues you not to lie? Nope. Sh sh Nope. Uh, should <laughs> you feel like you should have another? And okay, then let's uh, you you summon your new companion. As you open your eyes, having performed this spell, from behind the hut walks a huge hulking wolf. She has the whitest fur, kind of very, like, snow-like. Um, and she has blood-red eyes, huge fangs that kind of, like, drip a little bit. And she comes padding towards you with a bit of a glare. And then she kind of just, like, sits down in front of you. I'm going to say that you innately know what she's called. Her name? So I don't have to think of a name. Well, I already know. <laughs> don't worry, I got it. 
<laughs> oh, okay, good. Her name is Electo. Electo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like electric, but with an O. No, A L E C T O. Uh, it's I one chose- of those new things you put in your house, and you ask it, you know, how how the weather <laughs> is and the play you know- music and stuff. <laughs> She's one of the Furies. Okay. She's one of the Greek Furies. She was the she was the Fury of Vengeance. Well, they were all Furies of Vengeance, but she was specifically the Vengeance <laughs> of Mortals. Vengeance against crimes by mortals. So, Electo, what's okay. the weather? That's, that's perfect, uh, Electo. Okay, that's that's great. Um, <laughs> hate you, Neil. <laughs> Electo is still just a um, uh, amount, so to speak. Um, her speed is 50. At some point, she could be used to fight, but that's not happening today. <laughs> that is not happening anytime soon. Um, you need to earn her trust and her respect for her to want to fight with you. I'm ready. But she is your steed. I love her. <laughs> um Okay, is there any other little bits of uh, character maintenance we should carry out, deal with, set up before we do the y'all should talk about what happened to Zultana and each other shtick? No, that's the thing that we need to talk about. (laughs) We wake up, we have breakfast, and then... So, um, now that we're rested, how did it go? Zultana is just like... Will, Will Electo let me pet her? Uh, yes, but not, like, overly affectionate. Okay, then I guess I'm not just, like, scritching behind her ears, which is what I was... <laughs> no, she's not to that point where she's comfortable enough with that yet. Okay. This is new doggo. You have to start slow, kind of under the chin, yeah. see how she responds. Yeah, so that's nice and slow. She's dog. currently, like... Let's say she's currently like curled up on the steps in the entrance to the hut. Uh, she's not inside it fully. Uh, she seems perfectly comfortable in the cold and the snow. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, um, it it went okay. Um, I am on the path to godhood, and uh, oh, I passed my test. Uh, I'm sorry. What? Oh yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, god, god of what? Bloody vengeance. Why am I not surprised? Oh. Well, uh... Uh, remember us when, uh, you become a god? Well, I'm not gonna become a god if I can't get... Was it 100 or 1,000? 1,000. <laughs> Fuck me, I forgot how bad it was. I have to get a 1,000 followers to become a god. Oh. So, uh, any other stipends on there? I, to, I mean, well, the other two are really easy. I just have to—I have to put Bikron before everything else, and I have to stay Already on the, done. Pla- the path of bloody vengeance. Very on brand for you. All right. Yeah, ev- everything else is easy, and uh, you know, if 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 I fail my mission, then uh, I burn in soul fire. That's it's easy. Um, Braxton chokes on his tea. Zoltana, you. <laughs> I heard a popping of roll twenty. Who do you think it is? Well, what did you get on your Constitution saving throw? Seventeen. Uh, sorry, what was that? A bit louder. Seven, seventeen. For those in the back, please. Se- seventeen. <laughs> it's a, it's a seventeen. Thank you. <laughs> Why? Are you okay, that's it like. <laughs> because he wants to say seven so that he can pass out but realizes there's a one in front of it um, you see Rao's nose begin to like trickle a little bit of blood but Rao you're not going unconscious you're not taking any damage from your 17 <clears throat> Zoltana you understand that's well that's the end if that does happen yeah but <sighs> All it's right. The, it's the end if it doesn't, too, right? I mean, it, if if I can't become a god, I don't have any power. I can't help save the world. I can't do anything, you know. So I might as well be dead. That's a fair way to look at it. So you're kind of damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't, right? 
Yeah, exactly. Very damned. Soulfire damned. <laughs> she just like gets this like far off look. Well, let's make sure that's not the case. As much as we do butt heads, I rather enjoy having you around. Balance. Do but you like me? I've already said we're all friends. I wouldn't have nearly died twice if not. I know. I'm, I'm just teasing. I like you too, bud. I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys were able to keep it open as long as you did. I got to. I got. I got to see Odette. What? I got to see Odette. I fought a Valkyrie, and then I fought uh, Dravis, and and I got to see Odette. And they made me choose. Uh, they they tried to make one of us choose the other one to to die so that one of us could become a goddess. And we managed to convince the paperwork goddess or whatever she is that the two of us can both be goddesses. Wait, uh, hold on a second. Are you telling me that there's a a god or a goddess of bureaucracy? I I think that's what she was. If that's the case, I think. <laughs> Well, Ogma's no longer in the picture, so I guess I know what God probably fits in my book then. (laughs) Oh, my. Oh, you learn something new every day. She was, um, nice. I can't imagine she'd get a lot of worshippers. Well, she has one now. Vote points at balance. (laughs) <laughs> oh uh, well, all right. Hold on you a second. You converted for the wrong god. <laughs> well, let's not let's not go with follower per se. I'm not really the sort for religion in that regard. But I saw Ama for a second. What you saw Ama when we were up there, in the distance, in Bella. I saw where Squash is. Oh, there's a house on stilts. Uh, house, house on stilts. Who, who squash, and Ama, and Adet. There's a lot of things. Um, Odette was her wife. Ama was his wife. They still are yeah. wives. Fair. Uh, like if my wife died and I didn't continue to call her my wife, she'd fucking kill me. From the grave, from wherever she is, she would not be happy. Uh, still wives. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> There's no till death do us part in my world. No fucking way. And he looks happy and also sad and disappointed at this fact of his life. <laughs> I, I apologise. I'm still new to the um, romance scene. This is my first one, so... Wait. Just regardless. Hold on, what? Can you the... Kaithia is your first girlfriend ever? Yes. What, you didn't have a prison pit? <laughs> well, he was, he was a... He I was never a, left my prison cell. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, but you weren't in prison for your entire uh, life. You were God. a prince. You, like, must have... You must have had ladies, like, all up on you the whole time that you were <laughs> a prince. Like, come on. I didn't have the time for that sort of thing. I was too busy in training for the first... Well, my entire life. Wow, being a prince is much more boring than I thought it would be. Well, no, there was a lot of work involved. I had to learn about how to <clears throat> properly be an inquisitor, as well as being the prince and eventual king. And th- keep in mind, there was also the whole thing of people thought that me and Inverna were going to be a thing, but we were just friends and I didn't want to come between her and Talvin. And that was a whole thing. And... There's a lot more to romance in pol- political situations like that, but, well, I'm kind of outside the system now, so fuck it. Okay, so, uh... Life is complicated. Hi. <laughs> we, saw our, we saw our dead wives, and, uh... Right, and Squash. Squash is our friend who got stuck in another plane of existence because he did a stupid thing. I'm still unclear... On what he did to get stuck in another plane of existence. He walked through a door and chose the wrong color. We're all like avoiding our contact. <laughs> <laughs> Ral feels a little bit of uh, ashamed uh, guilt. 
All right. I've got my magic back. Uh, so if we want to go back now, good a time as any. Probably a good idea. There's a lot of things we need to get done. Yeah. Places to go, people to see, or send messages to. Braxton, thank you, by the way. Well, I'd say no problem, but you almost died twice, he almost died, she almost died, and I, well, I almost bit the bucket a couple of times as well. So, but Queen Rowena is paying me for each and every one of you, so can't complain, can't complain. Well, you could, and I wouldn't blame you for it. I could, and the only one who listened, well, she don't give a shit about my complaining, so. <laughs> All right, then. <sighs> Grab hands. Uh... And he kind of like stands up, shakes his uh, shoulders out and like uh, reaches out for y'all to grab hands so he can teleport you down. Oh, um, hold on a second. Val- Valence is going to go over to where the note is that he probably put back on the mantle place. And he's just going <laughs> to yep. take out a quill and smake real quick and just write, thank you. Put it back. <laughs> and then go back okay. and hold- grab hands. Yeah. Um, Alecto. No, yeah. no. Um, Electo come and like comes and like joins the group. She kind of like uh, s- like stands next to Zoltana and leans her head against her her leg. Um, oh, no, what new wolf? Okay, yeah, uh, her name is Electo. <laughs> as you s- <laughs> as as you say, her name is Alexa. You feel a tug on no. the back of her name. No, 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 no. Hold on, Electo. What? What? Electo? Did I say Electra? I'm sorry. You said Electo. you said Alexa. <laughs> You said Alexa, the thing I can't uh, say because there's a thing right here that will fucking go off if I say it. Oh, uh, yeah. As you say, Electo, you feel a tug on the back of your navels and you find yourselves being crooned through the, um, traveling at vast speeds through the stalking. And you see your specters hanging around and, and giving you all a wave. Um, so Tana's specter kind of gives you like a double thumbs up as you <laughs> see her very quickly in passing. Um <laughs> You get the feeling that maybe she has to be promoted as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and, uh, I love her. All I want to do is do a game where we all play our specters. So no. bad. The worst thing in the world. Um, and all of you go find yourselves standing in the Witcher Society in Darkhammer. Hi, everyone. We're all here. There's a... Uh... There's another wolf. Um, I am just not going to ask. I assume it's okay. Anyways, uh, if you would like to email us, you can find us at the lucky die podcast at gmail.com. That's the lucky die podcast at gmail.com. Uh, we would love to hear from you. <laughs> Special thanks to Skull King for becoming a patron of the show. Thank you so much for your support. It means a whole lot to us. Again, if you would like to email us, you can find us at the Lucky Die Podcast at gmail.com. Uh, we hope to hear from you. We hope to see you next week. Uh, until then, bye. Well, hello there. I'm Russ Moore, your Dungeon Master from Dungeons & Dragons. We're a D&D 5th Edition actual play podcast, and we're four friends who just love Dungeons & Dragons. Adventure, collaborative storytelling, laughing, and just hanging out with friends. Throughout Season 1, we play through the adventure module Rise of Tiamat from start to finish with some extra flavor thrown in the middle. Season 2 begins with new characters, new stories, and a whole lot more laughs. We're Dungeons and Dragons, and we hope you can join us every Wednesday for a new episode at dumbdragons.com and subscribe on your podcast app of choice. Until then, have a great week, and we'll talk soon. I saw where Squash is. There's a house on stilts. Is that right? Okay. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, no, no, no. Casey, no, the good kind of house on stilts, not the bad ones. This is, no, 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 no. But wait, but Baba Yaga's in this <laughs> no, 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 game. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay. I'm no, gonna no, say no. this squash. No, I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna cut this out. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> don't 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 do this to me. <laughs>
<laughs> we need this to live. <laughs> So Squash is horseman, FYI. No, joking, joking, please don't. 